Hey guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Thursday. I had a wonderful day and I am excited to show you something new tonight. If you're new to my page, you probably have not seen this because I have been cooking a lot of chicken and a lot of pork, looking for new recipes and retasting old recipes. But guys, my husband asked me for this recipe because it's been so long and all of my friends absolutely love and my family love when I cook meatloaf. Now I've got a rendition of this meatloaf, guys, that is so easy. You're gonna be blown away at how little things go into this recipe and how fast they cook. The only thing I don't like about this recipe myself personally is washing the pan because I like to make meatloaf muffins. Muffins cook so fast. You can put this together, put this in the oven, 15 minutes later, your dinner is ready. So I love to make meatloaf muffins instead of the big muffin pans that are thick and it takes like an hour to cook. No, I ain't got time for that. So I use muffin pans to make meatloaf muffins. And guys, it is so easy and absolutely delicious. So if you're interested, give me some hearts and share this video. I'd love to know where you're watching from. And if you're looking for simple getting started tips and you're new to my page, put getting started in the comments so I can get you started on the right track in 2024. So I'm excited, here we go. We're making one pound of ground beef. Now, sometimes I'll do two pounds because Ricky could probably eat eight of these all by himself. He is a growing man and he loves his meat and he could probably eat eight muffins all by himself. So most of the time I use two pounds of ground beef, but I don't want a lot of leftovers. I already got leftovers in the fridge. So I'm going with one pound and it will work perfectly fine for the two of us. So I've got one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna show you how fast and easy this is. You probably don't even have to have the recipe. That's how little ingredients go in. But I do have the recipe link for you. As soon as I finish this live video, you'll see the recipe in the post. I'd love to know what y'all are doing for dinner tonight. What are you doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly? I would love to know. Every time we share what we're cooking or what we're eating, it gives all of us ideas. Things that we might not have made in a long time or something new to think about so you don't eat the same things over and over. I love to rotate favorite recipes. So I have favorites that we will rotate. And then I have recipes I enjoy, but we don't eat them all the time, and I'll rotate that. And then I pick one new thing each week. So I have a new meal, a favorite meal, and one of our enjoyed meals, and we rotate them. So we never get really tired of the same food, uh, but it's always nice to see what you guys are doing. So Deborah's having salmon. Salmon is amazing with a salad that's great. Turkey burgers sound delicious, Kimberly. I love turkey burgers. I love burgers. Um, Jane is doing a Big Mac salad. That is awesome. I've never even had one, but I hear about them all the time. Oh, Debbie made meatloaf in the crock pot. Isn't that awesome? She made a meatloaf. So I'm curious, Debbie, when I go over these ingredients, is it the same thing you use or do you use something different? Oh, Diana got her ketones in the mail. That's amazing. I'm so excited for you, girlfriend. You're going to love them. She's got my ketones in the mail, so those ketones are going to give her appetite control and energy and focus and fat loss and better sleep and better mood. I'm so excited for you, so keep me posted. Hey, Wendy. Oh, Wendy's making smash burgers. Oh, that sounds good. I love some good burgers. I love a good greasy burger. Wendy, the best burgers are the ones that have grease coming all down your arms because if you ain't got grease, something's wrong with it. <laughs> when you go out to eat, you're supposed to be embarrassed at the mess that you're making when you're eating a hamburger. If it's not messy, when I go to a restaurant, I'm like, what is this? Like, I can do this at home with a frozen patty. Um, hey, Tori, she's making pizza tonight. Yes. All right, so let's get started because I've got a call tonight at 7.30. So we've got just enough time to throw this together, put it in the oven. I've got a side uh, in the oven. I'm doing roasted cabbage. We love roasted cabbage, roasted green beans with meatloaf. It's delicious. All right, so I, this is a big bowl. You do not need a big bowl, but my bowls are dirty and I was too lazy to wash them. So <laughs> transparency, I've got some dirty dishes in the sink. So I'm using a big bowl, but you just need a small bowl. I've got one pound of ground beef and I've got one egg in here so far. So I've got one pound of ground beef, one egg. The next primary ingredient is the filler. So, you know, a regular meatloaf might have flour or, uh, you know, some kind of starch or some kind of uh, carb. We're using pork rinds. I put pork rinds in my uh, Ziploc bag and you can either use a mallet to bust them or a rolling pin. I use a rolling pin and there you go, crushed pork rinds. Now you want about a cup. You can use a little more than a cup if you want to, but this is what's gonna help hold it together and make it taste good. Like I love pork rinds. 
If you don't want to use pork rinds, because some people hate pork rinds, this is an unflavored pork rind. My favorite one are Max, M-A-C-S. I love Max pork rinds. Uh, these are just unflavored pork rinds. They actually taste delicious. Um, but if you don't like pork, you can use grated Parmesan cheese, like the canister Parmesan cheese. You can use that instead. But we're using a couple pork rinds. Now, the seasonings, guys. So easy to remember because we're using the exact same measurements of all of these ingredients for all of these seasonings, and there's not very many of them. Okay? I'm going to try to open that up. I don't want to do it with my teeth. Hang on. Let me get a knife. There we go. Okay, if you guys didn't see it, I just posted. Ricky did a reel. I did a reel and posted. Ricky is crazy. He jumped on the crazy train, and he got out there in our swimming pool in this freezing cold weather to do a cold plunge. He was in there for three minutes. He counted it down, and I think he's nuts because I sleep with a sweatshirt, sometimes with the hood on, my bedtime socks I've showed y'all before, and sometimes I even go to bed with my hands curled up inside the covers because I freeze to death inside my house. I'm not getting out no cold water. So we've got fourth teaspoon. A fourth teaspoon, we're using Italian seasoning. So a fourth teaspoon of Italian. We're doing a fourth teaspoon of onion powder. All right, we're going to do a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're doing a fourth teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. And that is going to be our seasonings for, I'm just going to do it like this. And that's going to be our seasonings for the, the meatloaf muffins. Now, I like to use muffin pans because it cooks so fast. If you want to do a traditional meatloaf and let it cook for hours, go for it. I really like to cook fast and easy and get in and out of the kitchen. The only thing I hate about this meal is cleaning the muffin pan. Sometimes I'll use my uh, silicone uh, liners, but that's just as messy because it's really greasy. So the only thing I don't like about this dish is washing them up in pan. Yeah, he's nuts. He got out there in that cold water, y'all. He's nuts. All right, so the next ingredient that we'll top it off with is mustard. Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup. So a lot of people say, you can't make a keto meatloaf. And I'm like, yeah, you can. Are you, in the, are you back in the 1950s? Because there are so many, so many products out there on the market. And a lot of them are sugar-free products. There are a lot of different ketchups you can choose. You can choose Primal Kitchen. You can choose G. Hughes. You can choose, um, there's actually a Walmart brand that's low carb now. Uh, there is Heinz. I love the Heinz. My favorite is Heinz, no sugar added. Now there's sugar in it, y'all. It's, it's tomatoes, there's sugar in it. And if you look at the ingredients, it says, tomato concentrate from ripe tomatoes, distilled white vinegar, salt. Of course, it's got natural flavoring stevia leaf extract onion powder and then says not normally onion powder not normally found in ketchup but well, that's weird um it says it only has stevia but we know there's sugar in this because tomatoes have sugar uh the carb count on this is one carb for looking for the serving size one carb and a tablespoon. One tablespoon is one carb. So one tablespoon per muffin is one carb. You can put three on there and you'll have three carbs per muffin. So I mean, that is a really, really low carb or keto friendly. I love this ketchup. Now I like this one the best. It's just my pick because it tastes like Heinz ketchup and it's thick. Some low carb sugar-free ketchups are really thin like water. I love G. Hughes but his ketchup is really, really thin. It's almost watery. So I really love the Heinz because it's thick, just like a ketchup. It tastes just like Heinz ketchup. I love this one. So we're fixing our hands dirty. I've been avoiding it, but we got to get our hands dirty. And I need to check the time real quick. Ricky, what time is it, babe? Uh, 6.33. Hey, Catherine. Well, I love you too. I love Memphis. Memphis is close by, you know. I'm in Jackson, Tennessee. All right, yes, I will post the recipe, Lynn. It's going to be in this post as soon as I finish the, the, the video. And then I also will um, post it later with a picture of the, the food. Okay, here we go. We're going to mix up our hands. Let me tell you what's in here if you're just jumping on. We're making meatloaf muffins. I'm using one pound of ground beef. I've got one cup or a little more of uh, pork rinds. A cup is all you need, though. I've got one egg. And then we're seasoning it with a fourth teaspoon of all of these things. Onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. That's it. 
onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. So you've got your ground beef, your egg, your pork rinds, the seasonings, and that's it. So we are got these mixed up pretty good. Now it's really thick, and we're going to take them in the way I like to do them, and you don't have to do them this way if you don't want to, but what I like to do is just take them out. I roll them into meatballs. That way I know what size they are. Put them in my muffin pan, and then I will push them down in just a minute. But if you make them into meatballs and put them in your muffin pan, you kind of see that they're all pretty much the same size. Because you don't want a tiny, tiny muffin and a big old fat muffin. And then we can always uh, rob Peter to pay Paul. Uh, so we can take some from each muffin pan if we need to, if we've got too much in another. But just roll them into um, meatballs and throw them in your pan. Now, I'm using a muffin pan because I love to cook these fast. Traditional meatloafs take a long time to cook because you put them in a meatloaf pan. It's so thick. It just takes a long time. So it looks like I'm going to have... I thought I was going to get 12 out of this, but I'm not because I'm making them big. Let me take just a little bit of this one, 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 a little bit of that one. See what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't even see. All right. And I'm going to make one more. Mm -hmm. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine muffins. So that means Ricky's going to have to share with me because I told you guys earlier he loves these and he could eat eight all by himself. Great thing is I got a lot of leftover chicken in the fridge. So if he wants them all, I'll let him have them and I'll be glad to eat a piece of chicken. All right, so we're just pushing these down into the pan now. I'm going to wash my hands because what I recommend and what I do is I go ahead and put the ketchup right on top of this. And we put it into the oven. Be ready. In 15 minutes, your dinner is ready. And you always can add more ketchup at the end if you want to, but I usually just let the ketchup cook right on top of it. This is a little smaller than the rest. All right, and just make you a little pocket so you can put that ketchup right in. But let me show you how thick the Heinz ketchup is and why I love it. Hang on just a second. Let me wash my hands. All right, so we are going to take this Heinz ketchup now. And if you are really strict and you really want to measure your carb counts, get a tablespoon. It doesn't matter. You can get a tablespoon because it's one carb per tablespoon. But I am just going to have fun and squirt it on there. These are, this is our meal today. We're having meatloaf and roasted cabbage. I know Ricky didn't have any lunch. I didn't have any lunch. Oh, I did. I didn't have lunch, but a coworker of mine uh, made some salmon. And she wanted me to taste it, so I tasted some of her salmon, and it was delicious. Now, if you want to, you can use a spoon and spread this out. I'm just throwing it in. We like the ketchup. Frankie, so you're not getting one of these. All right, if you want a spoon, you can spoon it around. Whoop, making a mess. But see how thick it is? Regular ketchup. Love it. All right, they're going in the oven. Give me just one second. I'll see if you guys have questions. I'm gonna move my cabbage up top. All right, I got my timer set for 15 minutes and we will be ready for dinner in 15 minutes. So let me scroll up just a little bit and see if you guys have questions for me. Oh, a little bit's hungry. Um, all right, let's see here. Mexican cabbage. Janice made the Mexican cabbage. She loved it. Sandra had fried Brussels sprouts. Yum. Sarah made Alfredo ground turkey. Ooh. Either tomato and onions with spaghetti squash. That sounds amazing. I haven't made spaghetti squash in a long time. Steak bites with onions and carrots. Yum. Robin, you are all making some awesome stuff here. Um, thank you, Ginger. I'm so glad you're new here, and I'm glad you're enjoying. We had chicken salad on low-carb tortillas. I love it. People use rice. Um, you're so welcome, Edna. Yeah, rice is not necessarily keto or low carb. It depends on the amount you're using. You actually could probably use some brown rice if you were low carb, um, but I don't recommend it just because of the carb counts in it. It uh, doesn't mean that you have to do what I suggest. You can definitely have rice if you want to, but it wouldn't be considered necessarily low carb. 
uh, can we have any kind of electrolytes while fasting? Karen, you certainly can have electrolytes while you're fasting. When you pick out an electrolyte product, I'm always going to recommend that you talk to the store. Like if you go to GNC or the vitamin shop, always tell them that you're looking for a sugar-free electrolyte. It doesn't need to be a sports drink because most of them are full of sugar. We have a great electrolyte. Oh, it's so good. Um, but if you use something at a store, just make sure you tell them that you're looking for something that's not full of sugar. Uh, if it's full of sugar, then I probably would not have it during your fasting state because the sugar is what's going to kind of knock you out and make you start craving food and kind of hinder your fasting. Uh, Donna just made mini meatloaves too. Isn't that so funny? She used a lined cooking sheet. Oh, can you put them in the, you can put them in the meatloaf pan? Like the little line sheets? I need to learn. I need to learn from you. Oh, Debbie uses all these ingredients, plus she uses paprika. Now, I've never put paprika in the meatloaf. That sounds interesting. You could totally put onions in there if you want to, Kathy. I just don't like to because I cook them fast. And onions in a 15-minute cook time have to be very super fun. Um, so that's the only reason I don't like to put onions in mine because I don't like crunchy onions. I'd want them cooked really good. Uh, that's the only reason I don't put onions. I use onion powder. But you can certainly use onions. Oh, that's a good question, Debbie. I've got my oven on 350. 350. Um, I haven't had ketchup in two years. Ooh, and I don't miss it, even, even with how much I used my entire life. That's awesome, Tom. That's awesome. My uh, son-in-law is addicted to ketchup, and he, I'll buy the low-carb stuff, and he'll use it, but he loves ketchup. I think he puts ketchup and ranch on everything he eats. Uh, but yes, this is a sugar-free ketchup. It was sweetened with stevia. And it's the Heinz No Sugar Added. I made the chicken with mushrooms and spinach. Oh, I hope you loved it. Oh, she said, oh my gosh, it was delicious. Dewana loved the um, the chicken and the mushroom spinach sauce. It was so good, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it myself. I've got two pieces left over. So if Ricky wants to eat all the meatloaf, I'll be glad to eat the leftover chicken. Uh, yes, you can use cauliflower rice if you want to. Uh, I personally like the pork rinds. It holds it together well. It doesn't change the flavor of the meatloaf. The cauliflower definitely would, I think, change up some of the flavor of it. But cauliflower tastes like you season it, so it should be fine. Um, I don't have a cookbook, but I have a free recipe blog. So I'm just about to change, uh, finish this video. And when I finish, you'll see the recipe link in the post. You can go to that link and actually see a menu bar at the top left-hand corner or back out of the actual recipe, and there's a lot of recipes on that free blog. So you guys are welcome to check them all out. And it's in this post as soon as I finish up this live video. Um, uh, Debbie, how fun I've been starting to do cheetah. I think you mean keto. Your, your phone's probably messing up your words. Um, yes, I have a lot of diabetics that follow this page because the great things, the great thing about eating low carb and especially keto is that your blood sugars will stabilize. When you really watch the carb counts, your blood sugars will stabilize. Yes, I agree, Kim. I told them earlier, if you don't like pork rinds, you can easily use a grated Parmesan cheese as the, as the, the binder instead of the, the pork rinds. All right, guys, I got to the bottom. I hope you have a great night. I hope you enjoy all the recipes on the page. If I've ever given you a good recipe or some encouragement, make sure you give me some hearts and share this video. Share all the videos because we want to show everyone how easy it is to really transition so sm such small little things to make big impacts. A meatloaf can totally be low-carb and keto. You just need you a low-carb sugar ketchup. So this one's Heinz, no sugar added. It is great. It's one carb for a tablespoon. And we are replacing the, the binder, the, the carb, like most times it's breadcrumbs. We're taking the breadcrumbs out and using pork rinds or grated Parmesan. And voila, you've got a delicious meatloaf that is 100% keto. So this page is to help people see how you can make simple, simple change to your recipes, to your food intake, and feel great in doing it. So the food's delicious, they're easy to cook, and if I can ever help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Talk to you later. Bye.